Hey gang, Ben here, Orbital Marine, orbitalboats.com. I uh, thought we'd take this opportunity to go through the Speedo pickup um, on a typical pontoon fishing boat. Uh, we're not talking about the GPS pickups, we're talking about the old school simple air pickups. We had a brand new Mirocraft here, uh, just got off the water with it and was not reading on the speedometer. Uh, so basically, we get these calls two, three times throughout the summer. Uh, especially after the weeds get thick or people are out boating for a while, uh, the speedometer stops working. A couple things that it could be. Number one, kink in the speedometer hose. Uh, these speedometer systems basically work on air pressure and air flow. So you get a kink in the, in the air hose, uh, it's just going to cut off the flow of air and your speedometer is going to stop working. If you haven't been doing work on your boat and if the speedometer was working originally, a lot of times the kink in the hose is not a real big concern because Unless you've been under the helm or screwing with some of the other wires, there's really no way for a hose to become kinked as tight as it would need to be uh, to cut off the airflow and stop the speedometer from working. So basically what that leaves is either something plugging the line or, as in this case with new boats, and this is why we water test our boats, probably something wrong with the PIDOT pickup right from the factory. We've had this trouble on a couple of boats throughout the summer already. Um, this was off of an, a Mirocraft that we delivered a couple months ago. Uh, the pickup tube, it just works on airflow and the water, so the pitot sits on the back of your boat, uh, the water comes under and air pressure goes up through your hose uh, to read up on your speedometer. So what this one had was from the factory, and now Mirocraft doesn't make these, so it's not really a Mirocraft issue. They just get them from Teleflex or Atwood or any of the other manufacturing suppliers. There was never a hole drilled in the Pidot pickup right from the factory. So we keep these on hand just to fix these up. And you can see, I'm not sure if you can see up in there, but there's definitely a, a hole at the bottom of that pickup that we'll be replacing this with where the air can, can go through and I'm presuming that this is exactly the problem with this one. So what we do, now if you're, this is a good way to test to or to, to fix a problem if you have a boat that was reading correctly on the speedometer and it stops reading. Just get yourself an air compressor, a little nozzle, and your pickup, same as this one, so your pickup's right underneath here. So if you blow air through here without it being hooked up and these just flip up, but that would be flipped down in the water. If you just blow air through here, you can feel it come out the, the, uh, of, the, of the nozzle here. So when we blow on this, right? So the little pickup, there's nothing reading up on the gauge. So what I'm gonna do, just to show you, now if I blow air in here, you can see air through here. You can see your speedometer right so just works on air pressure so we know the hose is clear so it had to be the the pickup so we'll put our new pickup on here and pit out and make sure now blow some air up in there and again so now if you want to go read the speedometer now when i blow air Fantastic. So this one's plugged. Now this is a defect from the factory, brand new pit out. Uh, it just doesn't have the air hole uh, air chamber put in it correctly, so it, it never could allow air to pass through the holes and up to the speedometer. Um, but again, now if your if your speedo was working when you had the boat, a lot of times you can pick up little chunks of weed or dirt, and it just accumulates in here over time. So either you go up and you disconnect the air holes on your speedometer end, blow it backwards, or a lot of times, even if you just take it off this, this pitot and blow some air in there, it'll, uh, it'll clean it up and your speedometer will start working again. So hopefully that gives you some helpful tips on if you lose your simple speedometer system on your recreational boat and some ideas on how to fix it. You're probably never gonna, well, if you buy a boat from Orville Marine, you'll probably never have to deal with it being bad from the from the start because with the water test these are the types of issues that we try to find when we take the boats out and put them in the water 
prior to delivery. So hope that helps, and until our next tip comes up, keep voting.